Hello and welcome everybody. This is Richard Skilleter and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to stay in the wish fulfilled. That's right. You go through your day and you got to stay in that wish fulfilled. That means after you do your visualization, after you do your affirmation, how do I believe that that thing that I want is mine? How do I believe that person is mine? How do I believe that amount of money is mine? How do I believe that I'm successful in that business? How do I believe I got that job? How do I believe in whatever I want to believe? That is the question. How do I stay in the wish fulfilled? How do I have the faith to do it? Many people ask that, but today we're going to answer it. So this is how you do it. First of all, you're going to have to practice your mood. It's all about your mood and attitude, your attitude believing that it is done. And that's easier said than done. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Easier said than done, right? So what you have to do is you got to feel that you're already that person. Feeling. Okay, let's get into feeling real quick. Feeling is basically what you're emanating. I feel this, okay? I feel successful. I feel loved. I feel wonderful. I feel this. I feel that. So you have to catch the mood. Neville Goddard talks about... I walked in the state of the wish fulfilled, walked. He didn't do it in his imagination. He walked like he was already that person after he visualized. So how do you walk that the state is fulfilled? How do I be that, be that? So how you be that is you got to catch the mood of that. So what you need to do is I'm going to show you the technique. The technique is very, very powerful. Okay, this is a feeling technique. It's not an affirmation. So you need to do this internally. Okay, so this is how you do it. I feel I am confident. I feel I am successful. But you don't say it out loud. You, you, what you would do is you would go and you would like touch your heart. This makes it a lot easier and say, I feel confident and feel that confidence in you and feel it, feel it, feel it. And you're going to feel your vibration raise. You're going to feel your vibration raise. And you do that until you get to that high vibration. We're just using confidence here to that state of confidence. Am I in that state of feeling confident? And my emanating confidence is my vibration because what you do is you have a vibration. Is that vibration emanating confidence? confidence that's what it's got to be so you need to feel it and you don't say it. you don't say I, I feel confident I, it's not about that it's about feeling that and becoming that state of being and then you're emanating this vibration out out into the universe the world and it's going to reflect back at you so that's how you do it so basically that's how you stay in the wish fulfilled now this can be towards money this can be towards anything let's say you're just working on confidence we're just going to stay very simple it's a very simple vibration maybe you have your your your, your self-worth your your self-confidence is very bad it feels like shit i, I have a shitty self-confidence uh, i walk around i'm like dreadful i'm depressed so i need to change that about me i'm just using this as an example it could be money but we're just using on one subject to make it simple for people so basically what you need to do is you got to feel Feel that confidence. I feel I'm confident. And what you do is you go into that feeling, you go inside yourself and you keep doing that. I feel confident. But this, you're saying this internally inside yourself. This is not something you say out loud. This is something that you feel. But it's like you 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 think of the affirmation, but you feel it. That, that, that That's basically what it is. And you feel it till you generate it. You're generating this confidence. I feel confident. So I'm going to do that right now. And you're going to feel this release and it's going to bring you up and up and up in vibration. Now, how do you measure this? Well, I found out the best way to do it is using the Abraham Hicks scale. I'm going to put I'm going to I'm going to show a, a link up here of Abraham Hicks. It's a scale that goes. I think there's um, there's 22. There's 22 levels. It goes from level 22 all the way to level one, which is love. Uh, uh, appreciation, freedom, and all that. So you're gonna feel, and you can measure yourself. See where I am on the scale towards confidence. Till you get up to one, and you just, and the more you practice this, the more you do it. So what you do is, once you get into that state of the wish fulfilled, it's like it's training your vibration. It's like going to the gym. Okay, I'm confident. Okay, but then guess what? I slip out of confidence. Then you got to go back to that feeling state. You go back into that feeling state, and then, oh, I feel confident. And the more and more you do it, guess what happens? It gets easier for you to train your own vibration, your own body, your own state of being. That is the secret. That is the key of staying in the wish fulfilled. That is the easiest and most simple way. I got some advanced later on. I'm going to give some training for some advanced ways, but I'm not there yet. I have to develop it. There's there, there's 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 an advanced way to do it that I figured out myself. It has 
has to do with energy of the body and you know has to do with your, your vibrational field of your body but we'll get into that later i'll show you guys later in, in another future video and another future training but this is a very simple way to do it so you got to do that every day okay i'm also going to leave in the description below uh, a state of being chart okay what you're going to do is you're going to do the state of being chart like uh, let's say it's confidence i'm just using that as an example i'll show i'll show another link of, of what it looks like right here it's a state of being chart and the state of being chart, you need to do it four times a day. That's like a minimum to raise your vibration and to get to that level. Now, a very tip and a trick to get there is this. You need to practice whatever vibration you want to practice, not around people. Because when, you, when you're around people, you react to people. You react to traffic. You react to your families. You react to people on a daily basis. Practice this in the morning. Practice this before the evening away from your family, away from your friends, or away people that you react to. Because once you react to them, it dips down your vibration. You're not in that vibration anymore. If we're practicing confidence, guess what? That person always pisses me off and makes me mad. Well, guess what? I'm not confident anymore because it took my vibration down. So the more you can stay in that energy field of let's say confidence or let's say whatever you're trying to practice it's easier and easier for for you to get there because you're training your vibration you're training your state of being you're training your body too because it's also a mind body spirit right you're training your body on how to be that person so if i'm intimating confidence for an hour a day and then i do it for two hours a day then i'm staying in that for longer and longer what do you think is going to happen in my life well i'm going to be emanating confidence i'm going to become a confident person makes sense right it makes sense you put the time in you, you know it comes back to you so that's how it works guys it's that simple okay you got to feel it okay you got to feel it until you raise your vibration up which i'm going to show you on the emotional skill of abraham hicks okay then i'm going to leave you guys a chart on how to do it this is a state of being chart and on this state of being chart it will work for you but you got to put the time in. you got to put the practice in if you don't practice your state of being after you visualize you do an affirmation and the rest of the day you're just reacting to things then it's going to get no movement on it. You're going to get no movement because it's, you're not believing that, that it, it is done. I am this person. And it's all about training your vibration. It's all about training the type of person that you want to be, how you want to act in the world. You know, so that's basically what it is. And it's the simplest thing to do. Remember, so remember, this is this is the technique. The technique is I feel this. I feel I am confident. But if you say it internally and you feel it until there's a release, there's a release where you're raising and raising and raising that vibration up. You're raising, you're raising that vibration up till you feel that confident. And then and then I am confident. And then you're holding that vibration throughout your day. And you're, you're practicing and holding this vibration, holding this vibration of confidence because you're emanating that your frequency is emanating confidence and the universe god source whatever you want to call it is bringing it back to you and the more you practice it the more you're becoming that person okay this could be towards money this could be towards a relationship oh i have the relationship that i want oh yeah it all works out for me i have the love of my life and you're emanating that and you're practicing that frequency and it comes back to you that's how the universe works that's how god works you get what you put out you put out through your vibration about who you are okay through your state of being so that's how you live breathe in the wish fulfilled it's that simple so let me know what you guys think of this technique let me know what you think of feeling it remember it's it's a feeling thing okay it's a it's a mental feeling thing not a saying thing and it's raising your vibration all right take these two take the worksheet okay and use it okay you're going to use it four times a day all right four times a day you're going to use this you're going to practice the state of being to get there all right now at the very end of it let's say you want to do an affirmation that's fine you can do your still do your affirmation still do your visualization it doesn't matter how you do it but the whole point is for you to become this person that you want to become for you to live it throughout your daily reality your 3d reality okay to live it to live it so that um, it's matching that affirmation. It's matching that visualization of the person you wanted to be, okay? Let's say that you're doing an affirmation for 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day, okay? The rest of the day, you're just reacting to life. It's kind of gonna cancel out all those things you're doing. The same thing for visualization. It's just canceling it, canceling it, canceling it because you don't believe it because you're not, you're not emanating that vibration throughout the day. The more you can emanate whatever vibration that, that you are, you're becoming that. 
And that's really the secret of this. That's really the secret of feeling good. That's really the secret of people say, I got to practice gratitude. Why is gratitude important? Because when you practice gratitude, you're at a higher vibration. You're at the vibration of love, appreciation, you know, gratitude, right? And the low vibrations are down here. And basically what happens is when people that practice gratitude, it brings your vibration up. And even when things, negative things, it doesn't bring you down as much. So that's the reason people want to practice gratitude or, or appreciation. It's because it it brings you up to a higher frequency and when you come down to the lower frequency it, you you don't dwell in those lower frequencies as much and that's the same thing that we're doing here as a wish fulfilled because you're practicing that state it's a higher vibration it's the same thing as gratitude or appreciation and then when i get to the lower frequencies guess what happens my vibration slips and i'm not practicing that and that's and that is why people do gratitude. That's why people do an affirmation practice or meditation. It's all the same thing. It's all about vibration. It's all about what you're emanating. It's all about what, what frequency you're at and, and, and what it's doing to your body, what it's doing to your mind. And by doing this practice on a daily basis, by doing it four times a day, you're training that vibration and you're going to get what you want. It's going to work for you. But the whole point is you got to put the work in. It's not just, oh, I did this affirmation or, oh, I just visualized a few times. You got to put the work in on a daily daily basis you got to be aware of your thoughts not just your thoughts but your vibration where am i how am i feeling how am i feeling right now what mood am i in what is my attitude towards life what is my attitude towards this subject in general so that's what i want to leave with you guys so take these techniques take these two worksheets print them out okay i'm going to show them to you i want you guys to print these out and i want you to use them because they're going to benefit your life because what it's going to do it's charting yourself and once you chart yourself it's like the most amazing thing it's like i completed this goal and then you're going to say wow i'm getting better at feeling this i'm getting better at, at my mood being this i'm getting better at me vibrating at this frequency you know that's what it's about guys okay so try it out let me know what you think and i'll talk to you later you guys have a good day. Bye.